Yeah, when I was only 17. We're at the uh, Sanford Homebrew Shop. I'm David, and this is where I get my grains. This is uh, Aaron, and uh, this is where I buy my grains from. And we're at the Sanford Homebrew Shop. But, real quick. What we're doing is trying a couple stouts. Um, Aaron is sampling a couple of those and he just really got finished smelling the beers. So what I'd like to do is just kind of focus on, uh, he's a judge. He is a judge. So I'd like to, um, focus your attention on, on actually the judging process. Go ahead. Yeah, so in this, the first out. You get a lot of roasted barley and chocolate malt in the aroma. There's a little bit of um, phenolics, which could be either like a yeast degradation or possibly like a real slight infection. But overall, it's, it's pretty clean. Uh, the second one. There's a lot less of the roasted malt character to it, but it has a really nice fruity yeast aromatics. And this one smells really clean too. get a lot more of the, the chocolate malt flavor in this one, which you couldn't really smell too much of. And some roast, a little bit of malt bitterness. Not a lot of malt, or not malt, there's uh, hot bitterness, but not a lot of aromatics to it. Mm -hmm. But it's very balanced. It's a little bit sweeter than like a dry Irish stout. It's kind of in between that and like a, a Russian Imperial stout. And they're so on point. And um, it doesn't have a lot of, of body to it. So it, it is dry in that sense, which is, it's very easy. Easy drink, drink refreshing. It's not like heavy. It doesn't coat your tongue. It's got a good level of carbonation to it that kind of cleans it off nice. And it would go well with you know food and stuff. You have enough cleansing power. And it, I like that the, the aroma and the flavor. You get things in the aroma that you don't get in the flavor and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Which um, there's there's little things like that. You know besides being clean and being on style as far as getting a good score in a, in a competition mm -hmm. is a beer needs to have a little extra something that nice takes it, you you know and that's one of those things I like in a beer <laughs> that what you, what you taste and what you smell should complement each other but not always be identical um Two stouts, two different stouts. And this one has a little more body to it. A little bit more kind of oily. Definitely has more of the darker malt. Get a little hints of like, like a mushroom soy sauce kind of a thing going on. Mm -hmm. Phenolic I'm getting in the aroma is not really there in the flavor. So that could be, you know, a high fermentation temperature issue. Um, could be on the yeast cake too long, something like that. Which 
nice, that mild, kind of rubbery, band-aid type of phenolic. Um, let me know when you're complete with both reviews so I can tell you. The difference? Yeah. And that is which stout? This was the first one you poured. The first one? Yeah. Out of this bottle? Uh, I think so. I yeah. wasn't really looking at bottles. Well, I'm, I'm kind of paying attention. Okay. And then the second stout was out of this bottle. And that was in this hand? Yep. Okay. Um, and for the record, I mean, I haven't came in here and, like, try to prep you with... No, I don't even know what these were supposed to be. But I would say this one is more... And which stout is that one? This one was the second one. Yeah. It's got a little bit more pop character going on for sure, but it's like under the surface. Mm -hmm. It's almost I want like to say like American hops, but it's it's there, but there's it's like below the surface. You know what I mean? And then the first one I poured you, the f the aroma is definitely there, dude. Yeah. But. This one. There's a lot of, like, fruity esters going on. And I think some of it's the yeast. But some of it has got more of an orange character, like, mm -hmm. um, like a Chinook or Amarillo. Do you remember which ones I, I poured you? Like, which ones were which? The first one and then the second one? This is the first one. Okay. The and first one is a, is a lot fruitier. And then what about the second one? And, and I'd say it's, it's fruity. And hop aromatics too, but it, there's something there that's like bright and kind of a pretty dominant character but it's hard to say and then try to compare that hops. and then try to compare that to the second one again They smell really different. They taste, they, the taste is a lot more similar than the aroma for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to know what, what they are. This one definitely has more body and more like richness to it. The second one. The second one. And this is the second oh, wait, one, no, by the way. Sorry, the first one. Yeah, let me switch these. Uh, this one has more body to it. Yes. For sure. And then the second one. It's thinner and brighter. But I can smell the roast malt in the second. Wait. No, it was this one. Hey, um, drink them both, and you know what? You'll know that this one came from this bottle, and I'm keeping them next to each bottle so that we know basically where each one comes from. And I think that's fair. If they're that similar, honestly, I think you should figure out again. Like uh, this, this one is definitely the. I just don't remember which one you poured first. But all this right. one is this one. Try is, this one real quick, because this is uh, from this bottle. That's that one. Okay. Just making sure that we have this lined up correctly. Yeah. Yeah, because it's got that, like, and then this American one hop thing going on. It's like... Yeah, that's the one that has the roast barley and a little bit of phenolic. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, so we got this lined up right. <clears throat> so yeah, so this one that is the one that comes in, I'd say like a, feels like an American stout or, you know, Imperial stout. No, no, it's more like, it's more American stout, but English stout, but not, not dry, but not really like Imperial either, kind of right in the middle. Right. And this one, Like a, you know, the aroma, like a black IPA, or like a, a stout with a lot of hops in it, you know, but it has an American character to it, you know. Which one's easier to drink? I like this one. You'd say you like this one? Yeah. All right. Can I tell you what they are now, since you already made up your mind what you like? Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, um, we're at Sanford Home Brew Shop here in uh, Sanford, Florida, Magnolia Square Market. I'm with Aaron, who is uh, the co-owner of, um, of Sanford. Of Sanford. <laughs> <laughs> and um, basically, guys, we did... A blind taste test, kind of like Pepsi Cola, except we did left hand milk stout, okay. and we did tap some scratch, just normal stout. I brewed it. Th I, I brewed this maybe a week and a half ago, and Aaron just said himself that he likes the tap some scratch stout, and my man owns a homebrew shop, and has more experience. More knowledge. Uh, definitely more equipment and more resources. And this is where I get my grains. To brew a beer personally preferred by the Sanford Homebrew Shop over Left Hand Brewery. That doesn't say anything about left hand brewery at all whatsoever that says something about Aaron's taste buds maybe they're all out of whack maybe um I don't know but it's a fair 12 minute 13 minute 14 minute video of how you judge a beer what you find in a beer what you're looking in a beer how it's supposed to come out and taste what ingredients you do taste in a beer, hops, malt, and the yeast attenuation. Um, and this is just basically the first of many beer reviews that we'll have blind tastings on for Tap Some Scratch beers versus, and, and this is a homebrew beer on a ghetto-ass three-tier system in my backyard versus a commercial brew, and that's brewed on, you know, big, chrome bright tanks and and mash tons and pumps and tap rooms so anyway Aaron I really 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 appreciate your candid um I did not think it was going to turn out this way um I thought you married both man <laughs> I could hear the angels I had to trick them Passive Scratch has commercial keg so we got to trick them a little so bit and I, I had to label mine differently so he didn't catch on to that no, uh if, if, if I was judging these in the competition, especially if they were in the same category, this beer wins. Wondered aimlessly about until I heard my mother <laughs> shouting through the fog. It turned out to be the howling of a dog. Or a wolf to be exact. The sound sent shivers down my back, but I was drawn into the pack and before long.